and welcome to this fourth episode of my Yule calendar. Today we're going to have a look at Commander Keen, um, and that's an awesome game. Um, it was released in 1990, I guess. They released the first episode for free, like a shareware game, and then you would like have to pay to get the uh, second and third installation. And I'm not sure about the fourth, fifth, and sixth. I guess that the fourth was free as well. Then you would have to pay for number five and six. Um, yeah, I have already done a uh, full playthrough of Commander Keen One. I'm not gonna do one again, and I'm not gonna do of two, three, uh, five, two, three, four, five, and six. But we'll just have a quick look at them and. I would like to hear what you think about Commander Keen because I think it's an awesome game. Let's have a look at it. So first I have to apologize about the uh, green screen in the last episode. The the sun was shining through uh, and making some weird uh, things. So um, I fixed the sun. Yeah, well, uh, blackout curtains can do a lot. <laughs> so um, actually I installed blackout curtains in the studio uh, and on that window and that window way ago, but as you might know if you follow this uh, this channel, I just redecorated the studio um, and uh, um, I took down some shelvings that was between this part of the room and uh, the second part of the room, and in there there's another window that didn't get its blackout curtains just yet. Now it did. Um, I hope that's better. Um, I don't really know before I edit this video, so. Yeah, let's get to it. As I said, Commander Keen, um, that was um, uh, the first, I don't know if it was the first, but it's credited by being the first side-scroller on the PC platform. Um, and uh, the company behind it, ID Software, was um, famous, uh, became famous for creating that. And they made a lot of games based on that, um, um, uh, what do you call it, on that engine. And... Uh, um, yeah, uh, Commander Keen was the first, and I actually already played Duke Nukem a few days ago. That was another one. Um, but let's have a quick look. Um, yeah, so Commander Keen is stranded on this planet. This is his spaceship, and it's missing uh, four parts to to move on. Uh, and this is the um, this is the. Um, the world where you walk around and select levels, and this is an example of a level. At first, uh, I, uh, you don't have, you have a gun, but you have no charges, and you don't have a pogo stick, which you will get later. So you can only jump normally. Most of the levels uh, you need to shoot, and you need to use the pogo stick to get through. Oh well, I don't know if you need, but at least I need it. Um, let me just finish this first level so I can show you more of the world. Oops. These green ones are not dangerous. Well, they push you, but they don't kill you. So, this is how the world, the first part of the world looks. And there are those small stone huts, and there are those larger ones. So the small stone huts are like small levels. Uh, I should have... Yeah, this is the wrong one. And... So basically, there's uh, only one, like, challenge in this one. It's not... There are no doors or anything you need to... So the challenge here is to get up there. And that's hard because I don't have the poker stick. Because if I had, I could cheat. And I don't, so I die. So let me get go down and get the poker stick. Stick is right there. Oh, I that. So that's what I meant about having uh, one objective. I mean, this was that one was forgetting the pogo stick. This one, as far as I remember, that that gives you a message you need later on. See, that's the pogo stick. And now I can use the pogo stick here. Like that to bypass that entire challenge and then I get up here with this one that sits a message echoes in your head the teleporter in the ice will send you to the dark side of Mars and that's um 
that's a that's a method on how to get on to the next major level. And what it says is that right above this cactus, uh, when you finish this level, I'm not gonna finish this level. Uh, but right after you finish that level, you get to the dark side of Mars. Mars. Uh, but this was this is Commander. Um, Team level one, uh, not level one, episode one. Uh, looks, uh, I think I will have a piece of candy and then we will uh, look at Commander Keen 2. Um, this says Coke Cats or Cola Cats. Let's have one of some of those. This looks pretty much like the first, but different graphics. So I never really played anything else but number one and number four, because those were the free ones. So I don't know much about these. I'm going to play each version for like five minutes and I'm going to see what happens. Um, so I guess this is the first level I need to pass. Oh, gone. That's a fellow running upside down. I have the pogo stick, that's nice. So we have these things that can run on the walls, interesting. I'm gonna assume that I need to go all the way to the left, because that's usually how side scroller works. Yeah. That was easy. Okay, so... This is, uh, I didn't read the backstory for this one. This is the first or maybe the second time I am playing uh, Commander King 2. So that's, that looks like, maybe that's Teleporters, I don't know. Oh, that's probably levels. Yeah, that must be levels. So yeah, more gameplay, new levels, and... Oh, did I just wake up another? Uh, oh yeah, I woke up in the same. That's new. Oh wait, I didn't die. I it just uh, like um stopped me. So these uh, baby wolves don't kill me, but the oh that one probably kills me. So they just knocks me over. Oh, the robot just killed the baby wolf. What's that? Whoa! Okay, that died in, in Keen 1. The wolves took three shots to die, but that one only took one. Interesting. And then I get some cake. Okay, um... I think I want to try um, Commander Keen level uh, one, two, three. Same engine, new graphics, and now I'm in something that looks different again. So that looks like a teleporter. Yes, let me try that, let's see what happens. I get right over there. So that's probably a hard level to get through. Now I'm a bit more in the nature now. I could kill that one. Oh, lots of wolves. Whoa. So that's the wolf that's hard to kill, I guess. I'm out of ammo. Okay, probably shouldn't go in there again. Let's see what's happening up here. So that's a level. Okay, that's a gun and a wolf. And I'm all out of... Uh, what's that? That's some kind of key. Okay, I'm probably not gonna... Maybe if I hurry, I can jump above. 
off that wolf. And find a gun up here. Oh, those ones are scary. There's a gun down there, but how do I get in there? for licorice ball. You might notice this is a different engine. So after episode four, or from episode four and and fourth, they changed the engine. Um, I played this a lot because, but back when I played that, this this was in um, uh, this was in, in CGA, so lesser colors. I don't know if um, the engine is more impressive, more things are happening, but I, the gameplay is more or less the same. Got some Oreos this time. I remember. Ooh, chocolate covered Oreos. Interesting. I remember playing this on my dad's computer. He had uh, just gotten a Sound Blaster card um, and modified an old keyboard which were standing right next to his computer and he was using the speakers in the keyboard to get sound out of the computer. Um, and uh, that was back when, I mean, smoking inside was a thing. So that room, uh, my dad was a computer programmer and he smoked uh, with his computer. So that was always this, um, um, this is, it was not like it was smelling, it probably was, but I was used to it back then. But, but it was this uh, smell that reminded me of my dad, um, even though he wasn't there. So, so I remember being in this room with this uh, really fancy music, um, for that time at least. Um, and then having to play with my brother, of course, because we needed to share. Um, this game, while the room had this odor that reminded me of my dad, which was... Uh, which apparently killed me. So one of the things in this episode, uh, in, the, yeah, in this episode, is you can actually collect um, a scuba gear, which will let you go into this uh, sea area, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, we have a lot of uh, episodes to go to, to, to look at, so let's get to the next one. I'm gonna do the sour thing now. This is sour. Same engine, new graphics. This is called the Armageddon machine. 
Again, don't know the story. Never played this before. Literally, this is the first time I'm inside this game. This is on a space station, I guess. I would have been so happy having access to this game as a kid. fun to do a, a playthrough of uh, Commander Keen. I don't know, I'm not sure. Idea where I'm going. I'm just assuming that up is nearing the exit. Okay, um, let's get to the next episode. Okay, I've seen this before, so I probably play played this one. before at least this start screen oh yeah I think we got our hands on this at some point and I could be wrong ah I could be wrong but I think the uh, animations is a little bit more advanced than this one so the improved the engine So this was number six, and I told you there were only six. But actually, looking through the looking through the um, overview of the site I'm using for this, I actually found a, a seven and an eight, and I have no idea what that is. But um, I think we should try it. Okay. Apparently, this is some uh, community-created content. It's the 2006 on the start screen. Oh, well, on the website at least. And um, if you look here, it says unofficial. So this is... Um, somebody made new content with the uh, engine. That's cool. So there's a follow-up for, uh, for the Commander King, like 20 years later. Okay, that looks familiar. So what did they do? Oh, so... Hmm. Is 
is so cool. I didn't know this existed. Ah! So, I'm playing <laughs> a 30-year-old game with, like, 10-year-old, um, uh, what do you call that, community add-ons. That's cool. Okay, so Killy Willy things in the ground. Okay, let me just squeeze in this last episode, episode 8. Okay, this was made by the same author, but in 2009. Don't stop now, go find the battery so I, we can get off this planet. And then there's a weird looking key, what? in a desert with cactuses that will eat me alive. Let me just see if I can kill that cactus before it kills me. <laughs> I couldn't. Okay, maybe if I try and wait for it on a flat surface next time. And I just used my last. <laughs> um, I'm never gonna be a gamer. Um, um, okay, so what do you think about the C Commander Keen? I was about to say Chirology, but it's a 6-ology and now it's an 8-ology. Um, maybe I should just call it the Commander Keen franchise. I don't. I doubt that the the new guy actually paid ID Software anything to make the mod. Um, so, but but what do you think about Commander Ke the, the Commander Keen games in general? Um, so the the last seven episodes doesn't really ring nostalgia for me because it never really. I didn't really play them as a kid. Oh, this is a sticky piece of chocolate. The uh, paper sticks to it. That's a nasty one. Um, what do you think about Commander Keen? Have you played any of these newer mods? I'm gonna leave links to all of them down below. And I would like you to comment if you try them, if you've tried them before. Also, give me a guess as to, to what I'm gonna try tomorrow. I already know. Well, technically I don't because I forgot. I have a list. Um, but try to guess and let's see what's on the list for tomorrow. Um, yeah. I think that was it for today. Yeah, well, uh, I guess I'll see you out there in the dark corners of the interwebs. And ha happy you tried to you, my friend.